When you marry your husband, you don't just marry that person. He comes with friends and family that you have to deal with, and that includes your mother-in-law. Today, we're going to be talking about adjusting to your in-laws. One of the many joys for me personally after marrying BJ was being invited into this new family and uh, having new siblings and cousins and parents for that matter. And I'm very, very blessed and fortunate to have awesome in-laws. I love my mother-in-law and my father-in-law. I love all of my husband's siblings and I'm just very grateful that it has been such a smooth transition which unfortunately I know isn't the case for many like I know there are lots of books that that deal with this and talk about this and I know that in marriage counseling this is actually like it can, it can be a serious issue so today's episode is about that adjusting after married life and this one is coming from D she says hi Miss Nikki I'm 27 years old and my boyfriend for five years and I have decided to tie the knot very soon we're not engaged yet but we're actually building our future house already seems like everything is falling into place and we're preparing ourselves for this next chapter of our lives as a couple now my struggle is how to win the heart of my future mom-in-law although we've been together for a long time I still feel awkward with this mom I don't know but I just feel uncomfortable whenever she's around She's very different from my mom. My mom is a sweet homemaker while she's a strong career woman. Hence, I always feel intimidated with her presence. Though I'm very confident that my man can take care of me and be on my side, I know that my future mother-in-law will have to be part of our lives. May I know your thoughts on this? D. I don't think it's really about winning over your mother-in-law. I think it's more adjusting to having in-laws in general. You are walking into a bond that has been established for, like, how old is your fiancé? Is he 28? That bond has been established for 28 years. And you are the newbie walking into this bond. So, hashtag, sino mag adjust Girl, ikaw mag adjust You don't have to be someone that you're not. I think that is a recipe for disaster. But I think for, for this situation, you just have to accept that there are bonds that you you're just going to have to work around because nga ikaw ang bago in the picture ikaw talaga dapat ang mag adjust like you don't always have to expect the transition to be one automatic and two smooth like it really takes time like i remember the transition of like starting to have to call my my mother-in-law mom from tita to mom that was a challenge for me because i wasn't used to it i was used to calling her tita and all of a sudden i needed to switch to calling her mom so you know it's not always smooth but it's transition phase you will get there eventually maybe you can what you can do is work on something you can bond over with your mother-in-law like if she's into cooking maybe you know try to take a few classes and, and share recipes with her and maybe ask her to teach you some stuff some recipes or if she's into zumba you know maybe you can join her every once in a while my mother-in-law is into golf, so it's something that, you know, oh, okay, maybe I should, you know, try this. So, you know, it's something that we can bond over as well. So, I guess that's something that you can do. You, just, you find something that you both enjoy doing, and you can use that as, as a tool to strengthen your relationship. And don't worry, before you know it, you'll, you'll transition into it soon. And if you can't find anything to bond over, for sure, one thing you have in common and that is you both well number one love the same person her son your husband and she wants you to have a happy family the same way that you want to have a happy family so you are both working towards the same thing and i think that's that's an awesome thing to have and that's something that you can't take for granted and that's something that you should appreciate because when your future mother-in-law sees that you make her baby happy and when she sees that that you love and care for her son she will eventually warm up to you so d don't worry too much about it if anything be excited imagine that you're 
you're going to marry into a whole new group of people and you're gonna learn so many new things and you're gonna build so many awesome relationships and so just park that thought aside and be more excited for this new chapter in your life and if you guys have some thoughts that you would like to share please drop by the comment section and if you have questions don't forget to include the hashtag ask nikki for anything and everything you can always ask